Hi, Pete here from Club Engineer. This series of talkthroughs is all about helping you prepare for the RoboCup Rescue Competition. But before we get started, there are some things you just need to know about the tools we're going to be using. I'll go through these prerequisites here, and if you think you need a refresher, then there's a series of talkthroughs to help you come up to speed. First of all, you need to know how to load the NextG software and how to find your way around the NextG IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. You need to know how to create and save a new program and how to upload that program to the next brick. You need to know how to write a program that plays a tone. You need to know how to write a program that displays text on the screen. You need to know how to write a program that waits for a given period of time. You need to know how to write a program that waits until a sensor is triggered and when you would want to use this technique. You need to know how to write a program that loops forever and when you'd want to use this technique. You need to know how to write a program that loops until a sensor is triggered and when this would be useful in your programming. You need to know how to create and use a MyBlock and when you would want to use this technique. If you're not sure about any of these skills, then open your browser and go to clubengineer.org. Click on the free online tutorials link on the left and scroll down, then click on the Mindstorm Next Introduction to NextG Programming link. When you're comfortable you're up to speed with the basics, we'll get started on RoboCup Rescue.